say software testing responsibilities or tasks software testing responsibilities testing computer software nowadays software not only restricted to computers testing computer software and or mobile software is called software testing testing computer software and or mobile software is called software testing software testing can be done in two ways one is manual testing another is automated testing or test automation what is manual testing testing software manually without using any test tool or program or test script next what is test automation or automated testing testing software using any software test tool or program or test script next sometimes uh, some types of testing some types of testing is impractical in manual testing automation only possible example performance testing next another note some types of testing is impractical using automated testing manual only possible example usability testing human users only can judge look and feel aspects test tools can't judge look and feel of software okay but some types of testing some important types of testing can be done in both the ways manual testing and automated testing for example functional testing we can test software functionality using manual testing methods and using test automation okay software computer and mobile software testing important tasks or responsibilities one understand the aut uh, aut stands for application under test uh, first uh, operating environment of the software application understand the operating environment of the software application for example our application deployed on windows or unix or macintosh try to understand the operating system operating environment of the software application next application environment uh, front end back end middleware etc suppose our application developed in java technology or dotnet technology or sap technology try to understand the application environment first operating environment next application environment next network concepts coexistence of the software with other software next data processing and management see software testing responsibilities first responsibility if it is manual testing or test automation understand the aut aut stands for application under test next understanding test requirements understand and analyze the application under test aut understand testable requirements say software requirements uh, derive from business requirements testable requirements from software requirements understand testable requirements next plan for system testing 
derive test scenarios or outlines next document smoke test cases document comprehensive test cases etc understanding testable requirements next derive test scenarios or outlines see generally we derive test scenarios or outlines uh, positive scenarios and negative scenarios see for every test requirements positive scenario always only one negative scenarios multiple but testing means positive testing and negative testing negative testing also is very important positive scenarios limited only one scenario for each test requirement but negative scenarios multiple we have to test positive and negative scenarios okay generally we derive test scenarios positive scenarios and negative scenarios from test requirements see in some projects in some companies we derive test cases from use cases use cases suppose if use cases available for any project we can derive test scenarios from use cases but usually we derive test scenarios from test requirements next document smoke test cases document smoke test cases for all important modules of the application say we have some levels of test execution after creating tests or test cases we have some levels of test execution we have some levels of test execution example smoke testing means executing all basic functionality tests with the intent of that whether the application is acceptable or not smoke testing verifying whether the build is acceptable or not by executing basic functionality tests that is smoke testing smoke testing purpose is not real testing only uh, verifying the build smoke testing verifying whether the build is acceptable or not by executing the basic functionality tests okay first document smoke test cases for all important modules of the application already i told we have some levels of test execution first smoke testing after accepting the build comprehensive testing next uh, defect reporting and tracking then re and regression testing final regression close okay next document comprehensive test cases for all important modules we already discussed levels of test execution uh, comprehensive testing means executing all possible test cases after accepting the software build or after smoke testing see comprehensive testing purpose is real testing while comprehensive testing if we find any mismatch then send a, a defects okay next collect test data for required test cases this is before test execution only i forgot this one before test execution collect test data for required test cases uh, say why i am using this term collect test data instead of prepare test data uh, say we prepare some test data for example phone number field is there as per requirements it has to accept 10 digit numeric values for that we can prepare test data next some cities information is there 
that city's information depends on customer business that we need to collect from customer suppose in our uh, application home page 253 objects are there that information we need to collect from developers so collecting test data is correct term some test data testers prepare some test data testers collect from customers and some test data testers collect from development team okay and one more thing test data is not required for all test cases only for some test cases for example login functionality uh, this login functionality test data is required for login to any application user id password is mandatory okay next create test batches create test batches test batch or test set or test suite means series of test cases or series of tests uh, from test batches form test batches not from uh, create test batches or form test batches before the test execution before the test execution form the queue of tests queue test batches next execute test cases uh, say test execution important task in software testing if it is manual testing human user need to execute test cases manually for each and every test case execution user interaction is mandatory if it is test automation or automated testing test tool can execute test cases and uh, generate test result but in manual testing tester need to execute every test case okay <clears throat> executing test cases is one of the important task in software testing uh, here we already discussed some levels of test execution first execute smoke test cases uh, smoke testing purpose not real testing uh, verifying whether the build is acceptable or not by executing basic functionality tests example login etc okay execute smoke test cases after accepting the software build uh, conduct comprehensive testing complete testing means execute all possible test cases next while comprehensive testing comprehensive testing purpose is real testing while comprehensive testing if we find any deviation from expected then report defects after reporting track defects next conduct sanity testing on modified build then select test cases for re and regression testing cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 these cycles depends on complexity of the application and strength of development team and at the end conduct final regression testing okay executing test cases next defect reporting and tracking also one of the important task while test execution we perform defect reporting and tracking while comprehensive testing reporting defects through company's defect management system and tracking for changes next organize and maintain software testing resources 
after completion of testing maintain all software testing resources use these resources while software maintenance nowadays software maintenance is one of the important task in it industry information technology industry next important test documents see while software testing we create and use different types of documents just i will index the documents test strategy this is company level document next test plan project level document next test scenario documents next test case documents one or more next defect reports next test metrics next test summary report test strategy test plan test scenario test case defect report test matrix test summary etc next other tasks are other responsibilities in software testing see we already discussed some important software testing responsibilities what are the other responsibilities or tasks in software testing feasible study requirement study next after analyzing the requirements risk analysis next test estimations test estimations uh, by considering the uh, complexity of the application available environment and human resources next time and budget next fourth one guidance usually test lead or team lead provide guidance to all team members for software testing next test monitoring generally test lead or team lead or test manager the designation depends on company test lead category people monitors the test uh, testing process next last one test control if any uh, issues are there test lead take actions that is test control next important job roles in software testing uh, important job roles in software testing usually job roles depend on project and company uh, job roles and uh, names may vary from one company to another but some generic names available in the it industry i will list out those generic names uh, one is test manager or test lead or team lead test manager test lead or team lead next tester or test engineer okay these are testing roles some other related roles technical support for installing and troubleshooting software lab next business analyst next development team developer and dev lead next sme subject matter expert next project manager see all these roles involve in software testing of the application thank you